Shanti. Today is 22nd February 2022 and we shall listen to the essence of today's murli. In the essence Baba says, sweet children, you are the true Vyas who relate the true Gita and give happiness to everyone. You have to study well and also teach others and give them happiness. We have to study well and give happiness to everyone else. The question from today's Murli, what is the highest destination for which you are making effort to reach? I repeat, what is the highest destination for which you are making effort to reach? Answer, to consider yourself to be bodiless and conquer body consciousness is the highest destination. Because body consciousness is the greatest enemy, you have to make such effort that you don't remember anyone except the Father. You have to shed your body and go to the Father. You should not even remember your body. This is the effort you have to make. So it is a very deep effort that we have to make to conquer body consciousness, which is the biggest huh, paper for everyone. The essence for dharna from today's Murli, first of all, cut away all your bondages with the power of yoga and become free. You mustn't have any attachment to anyone. In order to be bodiless, we do not have to have attachment with our own body as well. Second point, follow fully all the directions you receive from God. Study well and also teach others. Do not consider yourself to be too clever. Bab Dada's blessing for us souls today is, may you be an embodiment of awareness and power and make your life an easy yogi and with the Father's sustenance of love. I repeat, may you be an embodiment of awareness and power and make your life an easy yogi and with the Father's sustenance of love. Souls of the whole world call God Father, but they do not have, but they do not become worthy of this sustenance or this study. Only at this time, only at this time, out of the whole cycle, do you few souls become worthy of this fortune. The practical form of this sustenance is an easy yogi life. The father cannot bear to see anything difficult for the children. It is the children themselves who make it difficult by thinking about it. Let the sanskars of being an embodiment of remembrance emerge and you will receive power. Today's slogan is, in order to experience the carefree stage, constantly have thoughts of